Hey YouTubers and welcome back to my YouTube channel Master That English where we understand, analyze and interpret the important texts and concepts that may be part of your English curriculum. Our topic for today is a work written by the Irish writer John Millington Singe and the work is Riders to the Sea. So get your pens and notepads ready because here we go. Ireland as a nation had been under the influence of Britain for many years. This was chiefly due to the imperial control of the King of England. The limitation of this control is that natives start imitating the culture of the imperial ruler. As a consequence, they fail to recognize and represent their culture and tradition. Ireland was also experiencing a similar loss of identity. But with the advent of the 19th century, a groundbreaking change was brought about with the collaborative efforts of the modern Irish writers. These comprised of Lady Gregory, W.B. Yeats, John Millington Singe and Sean O'Casey. This led to the establishment of the Abbey Theatre in 1899 in Dublin. This theatre was established with the objective of creating the past tradition of Ireland that describes the Celtic beliefs, myths and folklore. Gia Huich! Let's play some music! In the writings of J.M. Singe, another essential perspective was highlighted. This feature focused on the topographical aspects of Ireland's remote regions. Singe began this journey on the advice of his friend W.B. Yeats by visiting the remote Aran Islands. In his study of the region, Singe was able to identify the financial constraints of the natives that was responsible for their struggle for survival. Let us now understand the significance of the title Riders to the Sea. The term rider creates an image of a man in control of the animal he is riding upon. Thus, Rider on the land is able to exercise control over tactile objects, but the riders at sea cannot control the unpredictable force of the sea. He has to surrender and adjust to the course of the sea in order to overcome the hurdles. So what is the cause of danger for a rider of the sea? The biggest concern for the riders of Aran Islands is their dependence on traditional equipments that are unable to safeguard and warn them about the unpredictable course of the sea. The writer Singe has laid emphasis on these traditional objects in the very starting of the play that displays a net, oilskin, and a spinning wheel. These objects suggest the lack of modern equipments and machinery in their lives. So what unique perspective does Cinch incorporate in the structure of the play? In the structure, Cinch focuses on the indoor events by describing the routine domestic chores. Ironically, the play focuses more on female characters than male characters to highlight the financial and emotional constraints experienced by the family members due to the hardships in their profession. In the starting, 
The house is a harbinger of bad news, where the family gets updates about the death of Michael, the son of Moria. This bad news is discussed between the two sisters, Nora and Kathleen. They are attempting to hide the tragic news from their mother, Moria. This suggests that the girls are overprotective and considerate for their elderly mother. Kathleen Give me the ladle and I'll put them in the third loft, the way she won't know them at all. On the other hand, Moria experiences an intense sense of vulnerability and fear for the only surviving male member in the family, Bartley. Her fear is also evident in her subconscious dream where she can foresee Bartley's approaching death in the Red Mare and also sense the presence of her other dead son, Michael, as a ghost, riding on a grey pony. This condition of humans can be compared to the white rocks that are experiencing continuous wrath of the sea god, thereby highlighting the constant conflict between human and nature. So why are men unable to foresee their approaching death? The reason lies in their pragmatic approach towards life that does not allow them to focus on sensitive issues. I must go now quickly. I'll ride down the red pony and the grey pony shall be behind me. The blessing of God and you. Hence, the men in the play are like the warriors who focus on the journey and their goal, that is, to sustain their family. However, they fail to identify with the extreme strength of nature that restricts their emotional sensibility. Singe has also focused on aspects relating to Irish culture. This is evident in the use of animal imagery, where the use of the horse is representative of Celtic tradition highlighting aspects relating to fantasy. On the other hand, the image of the pig is a reminder of the Irish ritual. Its presence in the house is a warning to the inmates. Singe has also highlighted the strong spiritual beliefs of the natives by drawing attention to their language that is filled with religious incantation and practices. These references highlight the strong connect between people and God. In this way, religion kindles strength among people to overcome adverse situations. Lastly, the vivid use of colors help to reveal the cultural significance of Ireland, where red is symbolic of danger, black is suggestive of a bad omen. Ultimately, through this tragedy, Singe has suggested that nature reigns supreme and man's conflict with nature will only lead to his elimination. Thus, the solution to this discourse lies in adherence to the Romantic tradition, where poets like Shelley, Keats and Wordsworth took inspiration from nature to evolve their inner self. That brings us to the end of this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and the lecture was enriching for all of you. In order to get more information about the text and to follow up and test your knowledge regarding the text, you can practice the questionnaire given in the description box. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the family. Share the content with as many people as you know and are familiar with because sharing is caring. This is me, Karishma. Until we meet next time, take care.